So, what is up guys? I am Black Ops Amazing. Welcome yourselves back to another Zombies video where today we are looking at the story of Brock and Gary. As always, if you enjoy the video, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest Zombies videos on the channel. If you want to check out any of the other story of videos I have done so far, there has been quite a few interesting ones that you guys have been asking for and Brock and Gary, the two explorers from Shangri-La has been a very requested video, so here it is. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this. On April the 25th of 1956, two famous explorers named Brock and Gary were flying in a private plane carrying their expedition crew over Shangri-La, a legendary shrine hidden deep within the exotic jungles of the Himalayas. After landing their plane in a nearby village, the villagers living there told Brock that the Shangri-La temple was located somewhere up the mountain. And so Brock and Gary made their way up the mountain. And this was when Brock, Gary's superior, revealed to Gary that his true intentions of coming here was to prove the existence of Argotha, a mythical place that Brock believed in, he had come to Shangri-La to prove that it really existed. And eventually, whilst hacking their way through the jungles of the Himalayas, Brock and Gary stumbled upon the temples of Shangri-La. And being the famous British explorers that they are, they began to explore. The heat and humidity is just excruciating. According to the locals, the temple should be in this mountain range just up this river. Gary, do you hear that? A waterfall. We must be close. Hand me the binoculars. There is a structure up ahead. If this is truly a gateway to Argotha, my work will finally be validated. Uh, Brock, I don't think this place is abandoned. Don't be silly. This place has to be thousands of years old. While exploring the temples, Brock recognizes that the temple actually wasn't made by an ancient civilization and was instead built by people of the modern era. And as they continue to walk and explore the temples of Shangri-La, they eventually come across an altar. Scrolled across this altar in an encryption, it says, Richtofen, and suspended above it in thin air is a rock. This rock is the focusing stone. Brock and Gary, obviously intrigued by this magical floating rock above this altar that says Richtofen scrolled along the front of it, Brock attempts to remove the stone from its rightful place, and suddenly a teleporting noise is heard. Brock and Gary unwittingly find themselves trapped in a time loop doomed to relieve the same events over and over again. After removing the focusing stone from the altar and seeing the eclipse happen in the sky, zombies suddenly start breaking out of the walls and begin to chase the explorers. Seeing that the zombies are coming towards them, Brock realizes that the writings on the wall were in fact true. And so Brock and Gary make a run for it away from the zombies, where eventually in the temple, they find a safe place to hide. I have found some unfinished carvings around the structures I can't make out. They do not look like... Wait, what is this? What the hell was that? Why is the sky dark? It's an eclipse. We must have... Run! Zombies, we have to find another way. Zombies? What are you talking about? The writings must have been right. The... No, don't touch that! Damn! Take a look around and try to find a way out. I got nothing. We will have to conserve our supplies. Take your shoes off and hand me your socks. After hiding in the temple for a few days, Gary, Brock's assistant, suddenly and mysteriously dies. We don't know what he dies of, whether he had an infection, whether it's starvation, we don't know. But in the first radio that Brock records of him being trapped in the temple, he says that Gary is dead. He says, I fear this is my last recording and as my battery is about to die, I will soon follow. And then the transmission ends. So we can assume that both Brock and Gary died mysteriously in the temple. I have been trapped in the temple structure for days. Gary is dead, and I don't see a way out of here. 
I can still hear the zombies outside. I fear this is my last recording, as the battery is about to die, and I will soon follow. However, since they are trapped in a temporal loop, after dying, both Brock and Gary are sent back to the beginning of the cycle. Where this time, as they are moving through a small network of tunnels, rocks begin to cave in on them, trapping them deep down underground and at the same time they can hear zombies moaning from the outside. As they try to find a place to hide they come to a dead end and then suddenly it seems like Gary passes out and the radio transmission that Brock is recording for his documentary we hear Gary coughing and then Brock says Gary Gary get up so we can assume that Gary passes out. We are moving through a small network of tunnels. This appears to be some sort of Unless this was carved out in a much later... Holy crap! We need to start digging and get past this cave-in! Well, we lucked out on that. I wouldn't classify any of this as lucky. Well, we are still alive. Shh! Uh... Do you hear that? Quickly, under there! Great, another dead end. Well, at least we're safe for now. Really? <laughs> Gary, get off! Hello? As you see, all throughout these radios, Brock and Gary are trying to escape the temple, but each time they die, since they are stuck in a temporal loop, they get sent back to the very beginning. So whether it's zombies chasing them, whether a cave-in happens, whether they are killed by something else, there is no way for them to escape, and when they do die, they are just sent back to the beginning of the loop. Each time, trying to make it to the top of the temple so they can escape. Where eventually, after being sent back multiple times in this loop, they make it to the top. Let's get out of here before spikes shoot out of the walls and the floors open up to a bit of lava! This place is massive! The architecture is not what I expected to see. It's more of an interpretation well, What of the hell's wrong with you? If this place doesn't kill us, the freaking undead will! We are stuck in some kind of trap-filled temple of death, surrounded by a horde of undead, and you were talking about the rugs not matching the curtains. If you don't... Well, this is unfortunate. <coughs> yeah, I rest my case. The walls are too slippery to climb. I can see a tube about halfway up the side of the well, but we can't reach it. Uh, what the? I think something just swam past my leg. Where? I don't know! Thank heavens, we are finally out of the wretched catacombs. It's still a full eclipse. Yes, it is very strange. I've been thinking about those unfinished carvings we saw before the eclipse occurred, and can't help but think they hold some sort of key in all of this. We should investigate the stepped pyramid for some clues. I think we should get the hell out of here while we have the chance. But we are so close to proving the existence of... Outside. Thank heavens, we are finally out of the wretched catacombs. It's still a full eclipse. Yes, it is very strange. I've been thinking about those carvings we saw before the eclipse. Give me a moment. Hmm. Ah, oh, jeez, man, do we really need to do this now? Yes, they do match the pictures from the tattoo. It's a code. Sixteen, one, three, four. This doesn't mean much. Perhaps the answer lies inside that stepped pyramid. We have made it inside the top of the temple. I can see an antechamber through a crack in the wall, but there is no way to get inside. It's completely enclosed. If we had a stick of dynamite, I could get us in there. 
Well, unless you brought some, I think we're not getting any further. I had some in my bag, but dropped it when we were attacked by that horde of zombies. And by the look of it out there, we're not going to be able to stroll around looking for it. So close to the answers. We need to get the hell out of here before it's too late. Brooke says, I can see an antechamber through a crack in the wall but there's no way to get inside. It's completely infused. Gary suggests that if we had a stick of dynamite, he could get us in there. And they tell us that they had some, but they left it outside when they're attacked by the horde of zombies. And as we know, if you do the Easter egg, it's at this time that the original crew, Takio, Dempsey, Nikolai, and Richtofen, get the stick of dynamite for them from the outside and pass it to them through the wall. They then use that stick of dynamite to blow the wall up, meaning our crew, Richtofen, and Takio, Nikolai, and Dempsey, can collect the focusing stone from the altar, and also meaning Brock and Gary can escape. Or at least, that's what they thought. The wall was blown open, they run out, but as soon as they leave, they are sent back to the very beginning of this loop. Since there is no way to escape, they are trapped in this temporal loop. After thinking they are finally free, they are just sent back to the very beginning where they find the altar, they remove the focusing stone and then they are teleported back to when they were making their way through the jungle to find the Shangri-La temples. No matter what they do, they somehow end up dying and getting sent back to some time previously in this loop. Brock and Gary are trapped in Shangri-La. I am now entering the antechamber. I see some sort of altar and there is a rock suspended above it. This is just wonderful! An inscription! Rick Ta Fen. Rick Ta Fen. Gary, take an etching. The rock above the altar seems to be suspended in thin air. I'm going to remove it now. Been in this jungle for days and haven't seen any sign of this hidden temple. I cannot give up. It has to be here. I can't shake this feeling like we're going in circles. We should get to higher ground and take a look. The heat and humidity is just excruciating. According to the locals, the temple should be in this mountain range just up this river. Gary, do you hear that? A waterfall. We must be close. Hand me the binoculars. There is a structure up ahead. If this is truly a gateway to Argatha, my work will finally be validated. And that is the story of Brock and Gary. However, that's not all. As we know, someone called Sally, who was George A. Romero's assistant, after he and the production crew went missing in Call of the Dead, she started to search for her boss. But on her journeys to find him, she came across his secret documents. These documents contained all different parts of information. And as she starts to learn more and more about these two guys named Brock and Gary, who were looking for Argotha, suddenly Sally is teleported to the jungle, where, just like it did with Brock and Gary, the sky goes black, there's an eclipse, and then the zombies start chasing her. Sally is now trapped in the same loop as Brock and Gary, where she dies multiple times, and every time she dies, she's just sent back to the beginning. So I started with a simple one, something about two guys named Brock and Gary looking for Arthur. They finished like dead when you would start there. Next thing I know, I'm in this jungle, and it's hot and humid, and the sky goes black, like dark black. I look up, there's an eclipse, and these things start chasing me, like zombies. Trust me, I know how it sounds. I've been fighting them so long now, I should be dead. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have died, but it just keeps going. In an alternate universe, whilst Brock and Gary are flying over the site of Shangri-La, an eclipse takes place. And a freak atmospheric event with tornadoes, whirlwinds, lightning happens around Shangri-La. This caused the plane to crash. The private plane carrying Brock, Gary and the expedition crew crashed in the jungles of Shangri-La. Everyone on board was reported as being killed in the crash, even Brock and Gary. And this announcement only came a few weeks after the discovery of Shangri-La itself. So, 
There we go. That is the story of Brock and Gary, the two famous British explorers from Shangri-La. Hopefully you've all enjoyed today's video. If you have a like rating, if you haven't done it already, would be very much appreciated. Could we shoot for 2,000 like ratings? That'd be awesome if we could hit that. Thank you all so much for 300 and I think it's about 14,000 subscribers now, which is absolutely amazing you guys are freaking awesome i can't thank you guys enough i'll try and reply to as many of you as i can in the comment section below and as always i will see you now all, all what what all in the next video thank you and goodbye